Hello everyone. The official allocation of the JOSA seats have started and students have started getting a fair idea of where and what they are going to end up with. And in this situation, many of them start feeling unhappy with the choices that they are getting. So in this situation, I thought it would be a good idea to give you some tips so that you can handle your situation a bit better. When I say unhappy, uh, what I really mean is that even if you are not completely unhappy, except for a couple of thousand students, most of you are not really satisfied with the choice that you are getting. So what can you do? So in this video, I'm going to share uh, a very important tip at the very beginning, and then I'm going to discuss something regarding the department, then the institute, and something regarding so-called experts. So first of all, the most important tip, and that is to stop feeling a sense of escapism or indulging your mind in a, some sort of escapist behavior right from the very beginning or even before you have gone to the institute or your department. This is extremely, extremely negative and toxic, which is going to lead you down to a really, really dark place. So what you need to do is uh, you have to understand that and especially this feeling may be a little bit more acute uh, this year when many institutes have done away with the department chain system. Here at IIT Kharagpur, where I teach, uh, we have completely done away with this system. So many students are probably feeling that, okay, now you're absolutely stuck with it. So this is very bad. So what you really need to understand is that every department has some specialty, every institute has some specialty, which I'm going to talk about. Please do not start feeling this sort of escapism Okay, this is absolutely toxic and I have seen many students who have who have indulged their mind in this kind of a behavior uh, going to a very dark place and never really recovering from it. Rather, you have to first understand a few things regarding the department and the institute. So, uh, I have already made a few videos regarding certain departments, certain non-circular departments like aerospace, mining, metallurgy, chemical, civil. Uh, and I'll put a link to all of those videos in the description of this video. So please take a look uh, down below. Uh, but in general, uh, you have to understand that in every department, certain exciting things are going on. First of all, at the professional level uh, in industry and second in research. So first of all, try to find out for yourself what is going on in the professional world. Sometimes um, when you are uninformed or probably even misinformed, what happens is that you have a wrong perception or a conception regarding the departments or what the uh, engineers graduating from the departments they do. Sometimes you have the feeling that okay civil engineers they just go and wear that yellow colored helmet and stand in the sun all day. That is certainly not true. That is certainly a part of engineering, of civil engineering, but that is just a very very small part of it. There is an entire world of civil engineering out there. Similarly, in metallurgy, there is uh, often a feeling that metallurgy is all about extracting metals standing in uh, near hot furnaces. That is certainly a part of metallurgy, but that is only a small part. There is there are so many exciting things beyond it. So I really wish that you go ahead and really Google. Here, Google is really your best friend and try to find out for yourself what are the things that professional engineers in the department that you are being allo allocated, uh, they actually do in the field. Next, regarding research. So here in each and every department, there is something tremendously exciting going on. And uh, I again advise you to Google uh, what are the kinds of cutting edge things that are going on in each and every department. Without this, you will not be able to get a feeling of what is really going on. Uh, so this is the third decade of the 21st century and things have moved on a lot since those times from which you are probably getting a perception regarding these departments. Uh, so for example, in mechanical engineering, a, of, of which I am a part, there are so many absolutely exciting things going on in fluid mechanics, solid mechanics, on the manufacturing side, uh, even on the mathematical modeling side, those of you who are interested in uh, things like calculus, uh, and, uh, like a lot of mechanical engineering has uh, connections with applied mathematics. Similarly, in chemical engineering, there is so much of mathematical modeling. Unless you really explore for yourself, you'll never be able to understand what are the things, what are the absolutely exciting things uh, you can do it. And, the, and remember, so 
if you are not excited about this, if you do not allow yourself to acclimatize yourself or make yourself aware of, of these kinds of exciting things, what will happen is that you will not have some kind of an enthusiasm going into the department or institute. And then what will happen is that your grades will suffer. And once your grades suffer, then a lot of the doors which would otherwise be open for you, they start closing in front of you. Maybe you would have made a wonderfully great researcher in your department, but if your grades are low in the first two years, and later on you come to know oh there are so many exciting things i didn't know about it but your grades are already down and then you'll not be able to go into interesting kinds of projects and probably work with the great professors who are there in the department so you see yeah if you start having a toxic feeling or negative feeling about the department you're only going to dig a hole for yourself from which it will be difficult for you to come out later on so be enthusiastic about the department i'm say saying this again and again uh, shun away all kinds of I mean, completely throw away from your mind any sort of negativity or toxic feeling. I mean, I, mean, I don't want to be rude, but please stop feeling sorry for yourself. Okay, there's a lot of positive thing in each and every department. Try to find out the and extract the best information that you can. Next, regarding the institute. So, uh, after, so everyone has a dream institute. Okay, in many cases, it is IIT Bombay or one of the older IITs. Uh, but only a few, th uh, I mean, maybe a couple of thousand students get to uh, go there at the choice department. So uh, if you're not getting those institutes and you're, uh, you, have to, uh, you have to console yourself, quote unquote, console yourself with some other institute. Uh, yes, it is natural to feel a little bit sorry, but uh, don't indulge in that feeling again. So every institute has had some absolutely fabulous alumni graduating from there. Uh, there is a certain historicity to every place try to google that you are going to an institute try to google about that place uh, and uh, try to find out some of the big achievements that are going on there maybe on the research side maybe on the research and development side uh, in connection with industries uh, some cutting edge things are going on uh, in so called institutes which are new and just upcoming even in those places some absolutely cutting edge and interesting things are going on so you will be I, I assure you i guarantee you that you will be very pleasantly surprised by finding out actual factual information uh, by by searching for these things yourself i can also suggest this that why not you set up a google alert for your institute okay so uh, it's it takes just a couple of minutes to do it set up a google alert so anytime some uh, your the the name of your institute it comes up in the news uh, it'll send you an alert you can read about it get to know about the interesting things that are happening there some of the uh, some of the achievements that, are, that the faculty and the students of that institute are, uh, are are getting you will you'll get to know about that and you will absolutely feel inspired and motivated so that's about the department and the institute and the final suggestion is regarding the so-called experts who are always surrounding you okay be it the neighborhood aunts and uncles or some of the so-called experts they are experts uh, I mean the so-called experts of the coaching institutes I mean I absolutely agree that they are experts as far as it comes to the teaching the 10 plus 2 level teaching and helping you to succeed in the in the examinations but when it comes to giving you knowledge regarding the various departments I'm sorry but uh, many of them do not have the requisite expertise because they are not involved in the research uh, and development in those uh, in those departments so how can they have that knowledge okay so my suggestion is that not to listen to these neighborhood uncles and aunties or to any other person who claim to claim some sort of expertise rather try to find things for yourself okay see many of these people uh, and here i'm talking about the neighborhood uncles and aunties the relatives who may be actually I mean, honestly, they would be well wishes for you. None of you, none of them wants anything bad for you to happen. But despite their best intentions, they will end up giving you advice, which is maybe detrimental to your interests. So think about it logically. You would not trust them to solve a 10 plus 2 level mechanics problem for you. You would not even trust them to draw a simple free body diagram. So why would you trust them to give you expert advice on something which is even at a higher level than the, than the 10 plus 2. And remember that many of these relatives, 
uncles and aunts and sorry i'm going to be a little bit rude here these are the same people who have the habit of giving expert comments and expert advice sitting on their sofa even to virat kohli as they watch an ipl match or to any of the indian cricketers okay whenever something goes wrong or something is not to their liking they will i mean they'll, they'll just munch on their tea and biscuits and they will give expert armchair ex- advice so is it not the same kind of thing you are the one who has achieved something substantial through your own efforts and here they are giving you expert advice why would you take that advice okay so listen to them you don't have to pick a fight with them but i mean just hear them you don't have to actually listen and follow their advice F- follow the things which you find out for yourself okay please note that you are the actual expert here so expert in the sense that you are the expert of your own life so none of them despite their best intentions and all that expert advice they are not going to solve any problems for you starting from first year they are not going to go to the hostel and do things for you you are the one who has to do it so you are the one who has to build up your own career in the department the allocated department and institute take things in your own hand and follow your own i mean develop your own expertise and follow that okay and once you go to the institute you would find that there are more people who can actually be a mentor to you maybe it is your seniors uh, some of the more academically oriented seniors don't take advice from any senior but more of that later in some other video uh, there'll be professors there'll be faculty advisors assigned to you uh, who can actually give you terrific advice so wait for that okay and please again i'm saying please do not feel sorry for yourself there is a world of exciting things and opportunities for you to explore uh, go ahead and find them out and uh, do the very best for yourself i will not prolong this video any more so on this very positive note i'll end it thank you very much and all the very best in finding out the absolutely you know, fabulous things about your department and institute and going ahead in a very steadfast strong manner thank you